Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode 2 of the Pokemon Moon. I guess flying like lock. I don't know. Flying mana lock challenge here. If you didn't watch, Wasted Space is the replacement piggy pack for the one we had. Um, while we get into this battle, I'll kind of explain for any of those that didn't watch, because I'm thinking about just releasing the little training montage as a in-between episode. Wasted Space is level 7 now, though. I did train it up so it would learn Echoed Voice. Um, reason for that being, guys, for anyone who doesn't remember, Hal has a Pichu. And so, literally, Wasted Space had to be strong enough to deal with that Pichu. Otherwise, the lock would end now. I'm not even sure that Wasted Space is even strong enough yet. But, um, we're kind of go I'm going to go based on how it is after the trainers. Because I didn't want to overtrain it because I don't want to be unfair. So, obviously, as I explained before, Litten won't be used. Litten, I'm probably going to be trading to another file. Um, reason I chose Litten was because I don't have a Litten yet in my Pokedex. That's the honest reason. So, um, that'll be got rid of soon-ish. So you guys can kind of expect that. Um, I do have the Sun and Moon sprites for this playthrough. I don't have too many of the shiny ones, but I have found a way to get most of the working sprites. I don't have all of them downloaded, but we'll get there. And little kid just got stomped! He got wrecked, bro. You got utterly destroyed. Your life is a lie. Everything is over. Nothing matters anymore. Ooh, that's really pretty. I didn't notice that before. Cool. I think there's an item back here. But we gotta fight her first. How's my Pokemon's health doing? Because I was talking so much I didn't pay attention to that. Um, I feel like I want to go heal real quick, guys. I feel like I want to go heal. I'm not going to like do a cut because... Well, it's easier to run back. Because I still got some stuff that I need to kind of discuss... Because this is very early on the playthrough, so obviously we got stuff that needs to be said and all that fun stuff. I'll go ahead and fight this thing just because for experience, and I doubt he's going to really be able to do much. And before he leered and crits me. Somehow has quick attack. Crit. Defense drop. Urgh! Not going to happen, but still. But that's the reason on those little changes, guys. I'll also show the nature. So get your nature guesses ready now, guys. If you want to drop it in the comments, you can. Pause the video, drop it. I don't know why you would do that, but go for it. Nature is... Timid. Timid? Really? Oh, man. Could have been Jolly. That's actually... Well, he's a special attacker, apparently. Okay. It'll boost the speed, but the problem is it's going to be minus to attack. Oh, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. So you really are wasting space. Your name fits. Lovely. But that's not a problem. We'll still make it through the game somehow. So I hope, I'm hoping after the trainers that wasted space will be level 9. Because I'm guessing that's going to be about where we need him. Her, I mean. Um, it did get Echoed Voice, that was the main thing I was trying to grind for to get. Because, obviously, Peck's not going to be able to do anything to the starter. Or, the Pichu, I mean. But, after that, we should be fine. I think the next problem we're actually going to have is there's a random Magnemite somewhere, and also the third island with the electric area. I don't really think I'm gonna have too many problems aside from that. I definitely am excited to be Birdman Dan, I guess you could say on this one. But anyway, the other stuff I was gonna talk about kind of defeats the purpose of me not cutting by me just like rambling like that, but Um, I'm thinking about just like initiating the whole dupes clause thing. Kinda of going with it. I'm sorry for not like having decided everything beforehand. I'm not going to battle this because I can't afford to lose any health. Because I kind of want to just breeze through the last two trainers. 
If we're close to nine, then I'll just... I guess I'll do... Some quick... Dang it. Can't you have one path around without any grass? That'd be lovely. But, um... What was I saying? What was my train of thought? There are enough fl flying Pokemon to kind of get through the game, so... I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. I just need to try and, like, not lose Pokemon. Stupidly, like I did when I did Sun. I should have trained up a little bit more, but... I kind of wanted it to be difficult. I just... Wasn't prepared for the level gap. I should have done it by checking on the uh, previous trainers. I just didn't. So. But I'm a little bit more prepared on this one. Since I have played Sun, I'm... Like I said, I'm on Third Island Sun. I haven't gotten to play much um, Sun lately just because I've been extremely busy. And then I'm trying to do... Uh, I've been trying to stream and I've been trying to also... Make time to do this playthrough on Moon to get Moon caught up because I want to be able to show everybody a good time on stream, be able to double hunt on Sun and Moon. So, it's kind of killed the time I've had. Plus, Christmas is right around the corner. Are you guys excited for Christmas? We actually have our tree up. Um, it's a little bit messy over there, but I'll show you guys real quick. Tree. Oh, you can see there's wrapping paper and stuff like that around it, so... Because I'm going to be wrapping the presents today. Emphasis on being busy. <clears throat> I'm definitely looking forward to it, though. I've always been a big fan of Christmas. Not like a huge, huge, huge fan, but... I'm pretty happy about it, especially with my birthday pretty close. To Christmas, I guess that kind of helped it a little bit when I was younger. Christmas is a fun holiday. I like being able to decorate everything. Just kind of chill, have a good time. Got some potion action. Get that sweet music in the background. Preparing for the party. Now you can walk through there. That's pretty cool. Got this dude. And I think there's... Is there one more trainer? I can't remember. Alright, so we'll beat this guy's young goose up. I don't know what level it is. I don't think it's going to get us to level 9. So hopefully there's a second trainer. Yeah, it's level 4. It's not going to get us to level 9. It might get a third of the way if that. Which is kind of worrisome. But hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, I didn't even do a third of the way. That's kind of what I expected. Is there any items I can actually give Picky Back to make it easier? You know, I'll give the sharp beaks until um, the area with the Spiro and all that stuff. I'm gonna fight this thing. I need the experience. Not that it'll help much, because I don't know that I'm gonna go to level 9. Even though, like, I feel like I should. I feel like I should. If you guys see a random cut, I might have just gone to like, get level 9 real quick. But. I kinda wanna fight him. This is going to be terrifying. This is a bad idea, I know it. Youngus, no. Why, Youngus? Level 3. Not going to do anything for me. Well, guys, crush your fingers. Do a quick save for luck. Because why not? You can tell how long I grind it. I grind it for like an hour. Here we go, guys! Everybody's having a good time, and I'm terrified. 
I'm terrified of the Pichu. I don't know that I'll be able to stop the Pichu's rampage. The Aloha region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks for these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's really just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. Yeah, and I'm terrified. I'm freaking horrified. I don't even know that I get healed up. That's the problem. I didn't get healed up here, and that kind of scares me. I got seven potions. I can afford to use one to just... I need those four points. I need those four points. I need everything I can get. I need all the help I can get. I'm terrified of this battle. I've never been so scared about a rival battle. Before actually finding it. Oh, how's it fair? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Rowlet have been waiting for ages. Ooh, yeah, because I had to grind. Hold on, didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Yeah, I know you're battling you. Oh, yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? A full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please the Guardian. Woo! If you're doing a woo shot challenge there, you just got another one. So... You two will be taking part in a battle. I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often end up getting hurt. But it seems like this is an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. I need your support, Lily. Lily, guide me! Guide me! Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care return fail. Allow me to heal up for you this time. Okay, so we did heal up, but I'm not going to say that that was a wasted heal. Are your Pokemon ready for this battle? Then let's begin. I'll say it was a heal for luck. I'm terrified, guys. I'm terrified. Cross your fingers. This may be the end of the playthrough. For all life on our islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts. We pray for your protection for them and all oh, melee melee. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stands Hal, grandson to the Kahuna. Before him stands Fea, one who has met with Tapu Koko. And then the crowd's gonna join in, if I remember right. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, that's just typical of it. Piggyback, take care of my little Faya. I do not trust my fate in Piggyback's hands. As long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle, eh? We'll see. Fate, Faya, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. I don't trust anything. I'm scared. Mommy! Tapu Koko, could you just zap him? Like, accidentally zap the Pichu and let it die? Might not do much because electric type, electric type. But you're a high enough level, you should be fine. Mommy. It's level 6. I should have been level 8. I, I knew it. I knew it. Echoed voice. Come on. Heavy damage, heavy damage. Tail whip. That's not going to help you. Why are you doing that? Because you know Thundershock, if I remember right, Thund and Thundershock is a special attack. I'm not going to complain. You can use Tail Whip all you want, buddy. Crit, crit, crit. Yes! I do crit! That was a high roll! Oh! I beat it! I beat the Pichu! I beat the Pichu! I beat it! I'm fine! This playthrough continues. I'm so happy! I was terrified! I was terrified! And I got a crit now, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This thing's going down. I was so scared! I did it! Echoed voice for the win, guys! Sigh of relief! What? It's already over? You're telling me. Oh, we beat him! I was so scared of that thing. Oh yeah, great! Another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Feya. I'm not gonna make fun of his Pichu for losing to a flying type because it's a Pikachu later, and I think a low and Raichu later on. That thing might ro roll me at that point. Get crits. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle, but this even Tapu Koko. Koko Oh, you heard it yourself. That Tapu Koko song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time for you to take this, Faya. Yeah, I got my Z bracelet. That was nice of him. 
you just flip the Z ring onto your wrist. I want one of those in real life. They sell them at GameStop. They're like 40 bucks, and then you get the gems. If anyone, like, actually feels like donating that, I would totally take it up, and I would totally get the Z crystal for it and use it on playthroughs. Your Z ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z power. We kahunas can make them re by refining stones like sparkling stone you receive from Tapu Koko. Although until you collect more Z crystals during your island challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z power of your Pokemon. And yet you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it is time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. Island challenge? Four islands! The travel to each... Your hand looks so bad, dude. To each of the four islands here in the Aloha region, this island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer, the island challenge champion. Woo! Woo count four. Five, I mean. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about this island challenge later. <clears throat> Top of Coco is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can re meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Me too. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time we get you home. Yeah! That's suppose it's time to go. Okay, now we can get into the actual game after this. She's home. Um... Okay, you're back already. I thought you'd want to stay in Icky Town longer. No, I want to get my journey rolling. This is a long start, especially right after the Great Battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own girl fighting in such perfect sync with her Pokemon. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try that Island Challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Aloha, right? Right now, I've got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off at that festival. Oh, Mama been pumping it. Night, night, sweetie. You get some sleep, too. Enjoy your day with the bed. Hopefully you have roses. Bed, take care of my mom. The next day. What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. A visitor. If it's Kikui, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. That's rude. That's extremely rude, actually. I do not approve of that, Kukui. Let's see what we got here. Probably Kukui. He didn't come in, though. Oh, nope. I forgot it was her. Oh, um, the professor said... Hey there, Lily, bring me that great new trainer. Woo! Woo count, guys. So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab if you'll come with me. It's, um, this way. Faya! Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Oh, well done, Faya. You're already making friends, are you? What a cute little friend you found. I knew Lola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Lily's such a sweetheart. Looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Piggyback, but don't be gone too long. I'll come visit you, Mom. I miss you. I love you. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. You don't have to show me. I remember where it is. I've been there. It's down here. Haha, -ha, I knew where it was. You can only reach the professor's lab by trying to tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he's so surrounded by Pokemon. Uh since I'm not a trainer though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that repel keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? Only if they're weaker than the Pokemon you have, so I don't know how it's working for you. And about Nebby, I mean Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Yeah, it's buddies with Deoxys. 
Seems to have very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep it a secret? Can you tell everyone else? Can you not tell everyone else about Nebi or what happened on that bridge, please? I'm telling the news, Grants. Hope you don't mind. No, what am I talking about? I have no friends. Other than who you am. Oh, crap. I missed the trainer. I need you to fight the trainer. Picky Peck needs souls. Souls! I guess I could beat it on the way back. Oh, Wingle. I forgot about that. We do get Wingle, don't we? It's a different route. And we don't get many chances at flying type Pokemon. I'm gonna say we get it on that one, guys. So we officially got our second member of the team. I forgot that Wingle was here. We won't be seeing hardly any flying type Pokemon, guys. I'm. Let me. I can't stress that enough. So. Wingo might actually be the last one on this island, aside from Picky Peck. Uh, I don't remember what I was actually seen. It'd be nice to have a water type Pokemon on our team. So it doesn't help with the Pichu, though. It really doesn't help with the Pichu. Say in the Pokeball! Join the team! You must join us! Join us! Okay, we got Wingo, guys. I kind of forgot that Wingo was even a thing, but we got Wingo now. Wingo is official. Wingo has joined us. Let me just get him on the layout here. That makes me happy. At least we get something. I was terrified about that. I'm going in the... I'll go in the XY sprites for this one, because I don't have this one downloaded. So, we'll just do that. We go... It's like the same thing, anyway. Not like it matters. They pretty much reuse the same sprite for Wingle. Only thing that sucks about Wingle is he's so freaking big. Look at that. He's a big guy. Okay, we'll do that. So let's figure out what we're going to call our Wingle. Wingle has joined the team, is a part of our group. The newest member. I think I'm going to stick with the what we would always call it, which is Trollgull. For anyone who doesn't understand that, because maybe you're new, maybe this is the first series, uh, game that you've played since who knows how long, and you missed a few gens. In ORS, everyone called Shiny Wingles Trollgulls because... Well, they were the shinies that everyone got by accident. So, we'll... Poke name two, do this, impact is the font. Live editing, ahoy, do that, bold. Troll goal, that is not the size I had on the other one. So we'll drop it 36, because I think that is, yeah, that's it. okay. Only other thing, we do outline. Outline size is going to be 5. Select color, it's black. And there we go, live editing, ahoy. Pretty quick about it, because I've done it so many freaking times. I'll do it up there. I'll find a fix for how close they are together later on. But we've got Wingo on our team now, and that's what matters here. Okay, and so we'll fight the trainer and call it good. I'm scared to fight one of these again. Because they're actually pretty strong. Oh, I got Rock Smash, too. I was so busy trying to figure out the naming and everything else for the Wingo, I didn't even notice we got Rock Smash. What was that? Oh, that was Super Sonic. That was pretty cool. Okay, since we got confused... Oh, it has an item, too. Neat. Wondering if I should just run from this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna run. 
Because this seems like a bad idea to stay in battle here. My instincts are telling me to run, so I'm going to run. Do, do, do. Hey, buddy. Alright, time to battle this dude and we'll get going. On our adventure. With probably the only two Pokemon we'll have on this entire island. I can't remember, like, what else you find. But I don't want to be trading Pokemon in. That's why I'm kind of doing it this way. And I don't know that I'm going to be raising Wingle just yet. Just because it's going to take a little bit. And I kind of want to get Wasted Space strong enough that it can actually deal with the problems for a bit. So maybe I'll start switching around level 10. That and Wingle's not full health. I guess I could go heal real quick. It definitely wouldn't hurt anything. And then we'll hit up the professor's lab. Because, I mean, you heal right here. But, anyway, we knocked out a trainer. Didn't even really register that I'd beat up trainer. Do, 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 do. But we'll say that encounter is like five roots worth because, like I said, I'm sick of the game. You got a pretty wing. You know what? I'll let you keep your pretty wing. You can enjoy it. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I will, however, switch these two. It's not what I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to move items. Oh well, wasted space now is a pretty wing that it can't use. I'm just so relieved that we actually beat Hal. Like, I was so scared I wasn't going to be able to beat him. Everything turned out, turned out being okay. Isn't there an item over here? For a battle of her, kind of a check. Now we got the Taurus area and whatever this kid is. Go up there, you'll find a Wingo kid. Okay, we'll talk with her. His, he's getting the crap kicked out of him. Oh yeah, Rock Rod, let's go. Get it, everything you got. My body is ready. Woo! Woo count. Oh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Okay, I'm guessing that's the Rock Ruff. I just dubbed Rock Ruff. Okay. The Professor. He never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I had just washed his lab coat and finally gotten clean. Now it'll be in shreds. I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. I wonder how many he's had to buy. We should probably go inside before he does any more damage. He's got fish tank in there. How's the fish tank, like, still intact? Wouldn't he have destroyed it? Like, just boom, gone. I love Rock Ruff's cry. <laughs> it agrees. Hey there, Faya. Thanks for getting her for me, Lily. Of course, however, I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rock Ruff's moves were just styling, and I was making good research with my good progress with my research. Say, Faya, let me see your Pokedex for a second. Yeah, yeah, count. So what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here. Eh, it's here, it's finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's a Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Rotom? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can keep, take up residents and machines. Yeah, buddy, and to put all that crazy skill of Rotoms to work, it's... The next generation of Pokedexes, but it's the only complete. It's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. Yeah, because you have to use a Rotom for it. And now, if I just power up your Pokedex with the parts I just got in. Hey, now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. 
Hey boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Faya a here a helping hand. Yeah. I love Rotom. Rotom's one of my favorite Pokemon, by the way. If you guys haven't seen it, I got a shiny one resetting for trash cans in X and Y. That was definitely neat. Nice to meet you, pal. Gentle on the goods, okay? See Faya and that Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. This will help how exactly? Faya hasn't been here in Aloha too long yet, so I decided to give her the special Rotom decks to help her navigate around. Thank you very much. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom, and if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. How comes in? Hello, love! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa, ho, ho! He's such an ingrate, he just goes and starts exploring a house, someone's house. Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Faya? How? That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Faya, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Faya, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex. It's kind of cute. Alright, there are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the Island Challenge champion. Woo! Woo count. It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola and the Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, it said you must clear seven trials. Faya, I want you and Wingle to get out there and give it a shot. I wasn't ready for it to say Wingle like that. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's move in your very first battle. I think that you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon strengths. Yeah, yeah, count. Then yeah, I'll do it. Why did I see ya? Oh yeah! Yeah, Count! As someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge. Not only if he said, oh yeah, it'd be fine, but the fact that he says yeah all the time means yeah, Count. Here everybody on this island challenge gets one of these island challenge amulets. Thank you. That looks really cool. I like that on the female sprite a lot better than the male sprite. I got one from my Gramps, too. Alright then, Faya, you two, how? Get to move on. Okay. To the trainer school, you gotta learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge Champion, and the trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm glad I just want to play with Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them, right? The Island Challenge. So this is how people of Lola account connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of Faya, yeah? Yeah, Count. Until she gets used to Rotom, help her find her way around. If I ever do like a third or fourth playthrough, or anything like that, I'm definitely going to do like a yeah counter. Like an official one. If someone can tell me how many times he said yeah in these two episodes, then I'll put it on here. You'd have to go through and count all of them, though, so I don't know if you want to do that. Seems like a pain. Fight you with Wingo, get Wingo some experience. Alola, check out my my cute Pokemon. I wouldn't pre prepare for that. Blah, 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 blah. I'll be calling an episode soon, guys, because it has been 33 minutes. I didn't mean for the episode to run this long. But with everything that happened, I, I want to get everything knocked out. Oh, another Wingo. Wingo versus Wingo. Battle to the ages. Oh, they're both level 6. So you know what that means? We gotta do it. I'm going for status conditions first, because I need the extra chip damage. I am gonna try this, guys. If it doesn't work, I'll change Pokemon. There we go. I got you supersonic. You're confused, buddy. Hit, 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 hit. No! Not that hit! I need you to hit yourself, not me! Okay, now I can start water gunning. This is going to be a battle for the ages. In before crit. On their side, not mine, obviously. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted. See, I got the strats here. I've never used Supersonic in a playthrough ever before, by the way. That I can remember. 
No! How dare you! Using my strategy against me, that's not fair! Okay, this battle is turning bad. And it snapped out. Okay, this is not good. Trogo, I believe in you! Don't! Loose! Okay, so Trogo kind of lost its first battle here because I'm having to use a potion and that trainer's not going to use a potion, obviously. But it put up a good fight. We had the edge for a bit. It's just they came out on top. I'm still wanting the experiential Winkle, though, so I'm going to do it this way. Oh, I hit with a supersonic! The luck! I should snap out this turn. Hopefully. Nope, I didn't snap out. I didn't get as lucky as you. I swear- Are you kidding me? Snap out on the second turn? That's not even fair! I'm just water gunning you down. This is- I didn't snap out on the s what was that, the fifth or the sixth turn? That's not even right. Oh. Okay, I have to snap out on this turn. I really don't have luck on my side right now. But that's it for that wing goal. We lost. We almost lost twice. Which really, really sucks. But we'll go heal up at our moms and then I'll call it an episode there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm actually enjoying the flying monologue. Especially now that like the Pichu is gone and I've got a second Pokemon. Young Goose. I want to battle it but I feel like it would crit me. And it's level 7, it's a little higher. How many potions do I have? I have eight. I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna battle this thing. And then we'll get to the house and call it an episode. The episodes won't normally be this long, guys. I say that now. But, um... Okay, that was a good idea. Swapping was a good idea. Um... I'm going to swap to Wasted Space because it's a bad idea to stay in on this. I do want the experience. And obviously, guys, I think I'm going to raise Wingle to maybe level 8 in between episodes. I probably won't record it just because it's one level. I'm so glad I got Rock Smash. I really don't understand why this thing gets Rock Smash, though. I'm not complaining by any means, guys. I'm just, I don't know why that it gets it. I'm glad you didn't pursue it earlier. I would have been... Yeah, that wouldn't have been nice. Okay, level 7. I might... I have, never mind on that leveling up thing. Guys, since it's leveled up, I'm, I'm at level 7. I just... My brain derped. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying this, guys. Definitely show your support, and thank you for watching it. Um, Litten should be off the team between episodes. I, it's either going to be that or Litten will be evolved or something like that because I'm going to be using Litten towards um, SOS encounters. So I'm going to be trading it to the other game, evolving it, and then trading it back because I'm going to be going for Caterpie on stream today. Definitely check out the stream too, guys. If you haven't, like, if you didn't know I was, stre I was streaming, twitch.tv slash tainted terror. And come hang out. We shiny hunt a lot. But, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to stop, like, talking so much. I just kind of ended there. And it was a dead picky peck. That's the best way to end the episode. Even though it won't give me, like, any experience at all. So, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>